hello friends in this video i am going to be covering the uh, next steps for how you, how you can set a prox mark so this is a relatively simple process what you need to do is you will be needing these two repositories on your system one is the prox space and the second one is by rfid research group it is based on the main prox mark uh, iceman build so it is for from that and it contains some modification in the functions and features so i will be covering how you can uh, get it on your windows system so the prereq to this step is that you already know how how to install the proxmark drivers on your windows system if you don't know how to install those drivers i will be linking down a video by lab 401 they have covered it in detail how you can do it so if you don't know i will be linking the video down in in the description so first what we need to do is get the proc space repository on your system clone it and based on your uh, processes architecture either is 64 bit or 32 bit you will be running the run me 64 bit for the 64 bit system and the simple run me for 32 bit system i have already cloned it on my system so let's get started so the first time you will run the uh, run me dot bat file it will download and install all the required files that you will be needing for in order to compile the main repository of proxmark so i have already installed all the packages so what you need to do is we need to clone the proxmark repository on our system so let's i have my proxmark files in my c directory so let me see these here. So here we are here in the C directory. So let's do ls, and I have created a prox folder over here. You can see I am storing all my proxmark file in this folder. So let's cd into prox and clear ls. And here you can see the prox space folder, and here this is my proxmark repository i have already cloned it on my system so if you don't if you don't have it on your system just run git clone and it will clone the repository on your system so let's cd into proxmark the repository and just in case if there is any new comment what we need to do is git pull and it will search the repository if any new uh, updates have been made to the repository and download it so you can see that i have already the up-to-date version over here so what we need to do after that is compile all the c code uh, into an executable format so we can flash the new firmware and get started with the proxmark so for that what we need to do is run this command make clean it will compile all the code using gcc compiler on our system so make clean and make all what this will do is it will compile all the c code in all directories over here into an executable format so we can use it so just run the command and it is going to take a while to compile all the code into an executable format so we can use it so but what we are going to do is just wait for the process to complete so in the meanwhile i am going to pause the video and let it complete and we'll be back after the compilation is done So we are back the compilation process has been completed 
so what we need to do is in meanwhile is connect our proxmark to our system so i'm going to connect my proxmark and it is connected so what we need to do is find on which port serial port the, the device is connected so what we can for that what we need to do is device manager no sorry device manager open it up and over here you will you will see the ports serial ports and we can see that our prox mark is connected on form 5 so let's flash our uh, updated firmware on our prox mark so what we need to do is cd into client folder and run the uh, um, just cd back over here and just to client dash flasher.exe com5 where our proxmark is connected dash p tag for the boot image oh excuse me it is a real pain in the ass to work on windows client bash client flash dot exe com five dash p boot boot rom dash obj flash bootrom dot elf and the source to the arm build dash image dot elf so this is the command that we need to do uh, need to run in order to flash the firmware on our proxmark so let's do it first it is going to check the, if the proxmark is connected now the bootloader has been updated and let's wait so the copy and paste doesn't work in this prompt so you need to type it all manually that's why it messes up some commands so take your time in order to type the command so let's wait for the proxmark to reappear on the serial port 5 again and it is going to let's see if proxmark has shown up back up so yeah proxmark is back on the serial port and it is flashing the bootloader so I'm going to pause the video again because it takes a while to flash the firmware on the proxmark so I will back after the process is completed and the flashing process is completed and all the firmware updates have been applied to the proxmark so let's connect to the proxmark for that just cd into client folder and do proc proxmark dot proxmark three dot exe and the serial port on which proxmark is connected so hit enter where is proxmark and it is going to connect to our proxmark and you can see that our firmware has been updated so the low frequency image build is in 2018-9 and the boot, boot ROM firmware 